November 25th, it was a beautiful Wednesday in Colorado, uh, the last day before Thanksgiving break for the school-age kids. And my daughter Erica rode her bike to school that day. She was uh, in fourth grade. She was in the bike lane and on her bike, she literally was 15 pedals from my front door. My neighbor saw her from across the street. He was walking his daughter home and stopped her. And he waved at her and he said, Happy Thanksgiving, Erica. And uh, down the hill he went and he heard a very large crash. He turned around to see what had happened and saw my daughter had been struck. As I walked up, I saw all these people. There was paramedics and ambulances and fire trucks and, and it was just chaos. And this woman on the sidewalk, she shouted out to me, I didn't see her. And I was like, what is she talking about? And as I got closer, I saw my daughter laying on the ground. She wasn't moving. She was a singer, a dancer. She was so full of life. She, she died on the day that you're supposed to be grateful for all that you have. We had to bury our baby. No parent should have to go through that. I happen to have a connection with the creator of Motivate and found out that they were interested in wanting to have, have me come and share my story with Shapiro Law Firm and I was very excited with that collaboration. I got involved in this because we have a lot of clients who come into this office and have either themselves or a family member was seriously injured or somebody was killed due to a distracted driver. So. This is an issue that cuts straight to the core for me, my family with two little babies, and our community and my practice. It all ties in, and this is really important to me. My phones have been going off the hook, uh, just asking about the scholarship, asking what they can do. When you have that kind of grassroots campaign, it can really make a difference, and what better way to do that by, hey, $5,000 just to stop being distracted while driving, it's like, that's free money because you should be doing that anyways. Running into other businesses and, and connecting with people that see the importance of sharing distracted driving education is huge. I'm hoping that they will get excited about the app, get excited about the competition aspect of it, maybe get some of their friends on board. And in the end, it's gonna be about a permanent decision, a permanent driver habit change. It'll settle in and they'll be like, this is something I need to do all the time. And share that with other people that they care about.